Do you believe there's a difference between spirit beings and shadow people or do you think it's all one and the same? I believe it's different and here's why. I experience shadow people like a black void, literally devoid of light, a shadow. But it's more than a shadow because shadows have a, a sort of, uh, where the light forms, it, they kind of don't have definition almost. Shadow people definitely have a definition, a clear cut silhouette in human form, but it's just devoid of all light. When shadow people come close, I always feel intimidated. They give an air of, I've seen you, now you've seen me, back off. As well, quite often, they'll show me red eyes. Ugh. Anybody who sees a shadow person won't come away from it feeling like it's been a enjoyable encounter. It just won't be particularly negative either. Shadow people are thought to be interdimensional beings. My understanding of that is they actually exist in the same dimension as our earth. It's just that we can't see them normally or all the time with our physical eyes because the human eye can only see 0.5% of the electromagnetic spectrum. And it seems that shadow beings exist kind of very close to the earthly planes within our world, if you like, just at a frequency that we can't experience them at normally. Because of this, I experience them as a lower frequency being. I don't get the same interaction from them as I would the spirit world. See, those in the spirit world have definition. I see them clearly. They have empathy. They have emotion. They're able to interact with me. Many, even if they're not happy, are trying to let me know why they're not happy. I don't get any of that with the shadow person. I literally just get the energy of we're here, we're watching you and uh, we know you're there. Not pleasant. Spirit beings will also bring a lot of love. If it's a spirit loved one, if it's somebody that cared deeply about the place where they lived and they're looking over the people that are living in that house now instead, if it's your loved ones, if it's spirit guides in particular or higher evolved beings, there will be immense love. They will be full of light and you will see them most likely as light forms. So I quite often see spiritual beings as light, white light. It can even be twinkly light sometimes, but it's flashing, orbs, colour that carries with it such emotion and such depth, completely different to my experience of shadow people. Lastly, shadow people can also, it seems, wear hats. I know that sounds ridiculous, but people talk about hat people. Shadow people and hat people seem to come at the same time or they seem to be interrelated in some way. I know we can see shadow people as animals as well. So sometimes they appear as cats and dogs. If you want more information on this, check out Heidi Hollis's book. She released information in 2001. She was also on Art Bell's Coast to Coast. You can listen to those programs where she discusses shadow people with Art Bell on YouTube. Have you experienced a hat person, a shadow person, a spirit being? Do you believe there's a difference? What do you think? Leave your comments below. So Emma, thank you so much for asking me this brilliant question because we got chatting about spirit people and shadow people and it's led to her asking me what is the difference and I've been able to make this video. So if you would like me to answer a question, don't be afraid to ask of me because I might be able to turn it into a video for you and come back to you personally.